Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also compare it to the DXY because we have some very interesting price action going on right now and also congratulations to everyone that shorted. Yesterday I gave you out this possible sell signal, this little short opportunity. It played out so far and in at least in my trade I closed for now every Everything. So I'm waiting here for the next trade setup. So my short target was reached and I closed most of my positions and the rest of it got stopped out with this bounce that we're seeing right now. So currently I'm not anymore in a trade. I closed the shorts and I'm waiting here for another setup, most likely into a long position. But first we have to see if we are able to push higher right now because in the one hour time frame you can see that currently we just had a bounce to the 20 moving average and at the moment it looks like that we will get rejected here at 10,624 only if we are able to push higher and also go above 10,700 and close hourly candles above I think this could initiate another run up towards $11,000 but as long as we're trading now below $10,700 I think we will see a major correction or at least the beginning of a correction at least down towards 10.4, 10.3 maybe even towards $10,000. Dollar. We have currently here the bounce from oversold in the RSI to the 50 level. We are getting rejected here. So we have to see if here we're going to con see continuation to the downside or if we are able again to push higher. So currently the RSI is trading below the 50, which of course is a bearish. And although if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that after being oversold here, we came up to the middle line. We are testing it right now. And if we are not able in the next couple of hours to trade again above 10,000, 1650 in my opinion we will continue to trade lower and in that case we will for sure see ten thousand five hundred dollar again and most likely even drop lower the thing is only that right now we're seeing this bounce and although we have now KSC and MACD shifted to the upside so we could see today maybe some continuation here towards ten thousand seven hundred dollar the top here of the Bollinger Band to maybe retest and confirm that this is now new resistance but it's not hundred percent necessarily that we have to go up there it is possible but right now it looks like that we are already struggling to push higher than 10,620 and we also have the stochastic currently getting topped out here so there is a high chance that here we're gonna get rejected at least for the next couple of hours uh, and we will see 10,500 coming up pretty soon and uh, yesterday we had this uh, drop here from $10,700 down to 10.5 and guess what the DXY was doing during that time exactly the opposite it was uh, pumping from this support down here at 93.40 and also here in the one hour time frame in the DXY you can see that we're topping out at the 200 moving average I got a sell signal and also we were in very overbought condition here currently we are seeing a pullback in the DXY and that's why we are seeing a breather in the Bitcoin price so here in the DXY I'm expecting some continuation to the upside to retest the 200 moving average most likely the next couple of hours and that's why I think we will see probably today again $10,500 maybe even go lower depending also what the DXY is doing and now let's switch over to the four hour time frame because here also yesterday you could have seen that we were here in very overbought condition in the RSI then we had the correction and right now we are trading again between the 200 moving average and the 20 and 50 moving average so we're gonna have for sure here a breakout to the upside or downside pretty soon as soon as we're gonna close a four hour candle below or above these moving averages I think we will see the decisive move to where we're gonna head to next in the next couple of hours and days because here the RSI is also trading below the 50 and that's why I think we will most likely see continuation to the downside but even though we had here this little sell-off yesterday we didn't lose any important supports so far because as you can see this green trend line is still down below here at ten thousand two hundred dollar so as long as we're keeping up with this support here we should be good to go to the upside to potentially retest here also the resistance at eleven thousand two hundred dollar but we are still waiting here for a possible big breakout to the upside or downside here and that i think will be the biggest move that we will most likely see in the next couple of weeks and months here before we're starting a big parabolic run to the 
upside and as you know by now i'm still a bit more bearish that we will most likely see a breakout to the downside to test here this important support here at nine thousand two hundred dollar and also close the future gap that we have down here at nine six and with this little sell-off that we had yesterday we also closed this little future gap that we created over the weekend so this gap is now filled and in theory we now we can continue to go higher but the problem is this one over here that is still open and in my opinion it is time that we're gonna close this gap finally so we can finally bottom somewhere and then start a big parabolic run up to test also 20k and most likely also break it because bitcoin is still looking very bullish in the bigger time frames only here in the lower time frames we could see some pullbacks and some corrections for the short to mid term but overall in the bigger picture we are still looking very good and in the bollinger band in the four hour you can see that currently this moving average is crossing the middle line so this could indicate that we will see another big leg down here in the next couple of hours also macd and kst are shifted to the downside only stochastic is yet oversold so in theory we could see a bounce here to the upside but we can also stay in this area for a very long time before we're gonna see here a bounce to the upside so right now i think the macd and kst are more important because they are telling that most likely we're gonna see continuation to the downside and we could easily go again towards 10,500 and also way lower at least towards 10.4 or 10.3 before maybe we're gonna see a big breather to the upside and if we have a look into the dxy currently here we are bottoming out at the 200 moving average and we had the nice bounce and it looks like that we are closing now for our candles above the 20 moving average which of course is bullish for the dxy and this could indicate that here we're gonna see some follow through to the upside as soon as we're gonna break here the 50 moving average which is above of us and in that case i think here this 9440 will get retested and there we have to see if we're gonna have a big breakout to the upside here or not because so far we are still in this falling wedge and we didn't see a breakout yet so as soon as we're gonna break here this main resistance i think this could lead into a big sell-off in the bitcoin price but as long as we're trading within this pattern and nothing is for sure and we can just prepare for all scenarios if we are able to break through here to the upside make sure to open shorts on the bitcoin price or take out some profits to rebuy back in later once the price bottom but also in case that the dxy is getting rejected here and it's gonna have another big dump here towards 91 dollars that you're ready to long bitcoin and also that you already have your hodl portfolio ready so you don't have to fomo in later once the price is going again parabolic also the rsi is looking quite bullish here we recovered from being oversold here back up here above the 50 level and we still have a lot of room left to the upside so that's why i think if we're gonna see a breakout here in the dxy to the upside towards our 97 dollar then it should happen here in the next couple of days because we are very close here to test the resistance and if we are able to push higher here this of course could be very bearish for the bitcoin price at least for the short to mid term for the long term we are still very bullish in the bitcoin price and now let's switch over into the daily time frame because here we are still trading along the 20 daily moving average and also the 50 which is right now at ten thousand nine hundred dollars is coming now very close to the 20 daily moving average maybe there we're gonna see then some fireworks in the price who knows but it is still very likely my opinion that from here we could get rejected at least have a short term breakout here to the downside and test here the 200 daily moving average and maybe even go lower here to test this old trend line which now should be new support here at $9,200. RSI is also very flat here it's just trading along the 50 level and if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are trading on the bearish side and we have the middle line right here, $10,700. So we could easily from here drop to $10,300 and test this price level again. Stochastic, flat, MACD and KSD as well. So here in the daily, I think we just have to wait here for the next big move and since the lower time frames are looking a bit more bearish i think it's most likely gonna be to the downside and as soon as the daily are giving again good buy signals there i think we're gonna bottom out and we can start to scale in big long 
positions and go all in into Bitcoin again. And if we compare it to the DXY here quickly, you can see that here we are trading above the 50 level in the RSI and also above the 20 daily moving average, which of course is very bullish for the DXY. And that's why I think that it is very likely if here we're going to have a breakout to the upside from this 9440 level that we are going up here to test the 200 daily moving average up here, where also our 0.5 FIB line is lining up at around 97 dollar and of course that could lead into a bigger crash in the bitcoin price but as i told you my friends take it as a good buy opportunity if we're gonna see something like this because as long as in the daily time frame here the 20 and 50 daily moving average are trading below the 200 daily moving average even if the price is pumping towards the 200 daily in theory we should get rejected here and we should continue this bear market that we are in here in the dxy only if we are able here to bring the 20 and 50 daily moving average again above the 200 daily moving average and this would change my mind a bit here for the DXY because in that case we could see a long term bull run even here in the DXY and of course this could be very bad for the Bitcoin and stock market prices even for the long term. So let's hope that if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside, we will very fast get rejected here at these price levels and then continue here the bear market in the DXY. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. The conclusion is that still in the longer time frames, we are still looking very bullish. But for the short to mid term, we could see here some continuation to the downside. Just be prepared for all scenarios and you should be doing fine. And if you also want to trade, for example, over on Bybit, Femex or Bityard, you can use the sign up links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel follow me also over on the discord we have a very nice trading chat and also my channel on twitch where i do the live streams and if you are completely new in the crypto space then open up an account only here on coinbase or swiss borg you find the links down below here because with my links you can easily buy whatever cryptos you want with your bank account and also signing up with my links you can get some free money for example ten dollars for free on coinbase if you just open up an account over there so thank you again very much for your support my friends thank you for watching moon up the like subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye